Hi, this is Paul Richardson at richbros.com and what we're going to do in this video is look at installing and using LastPass. It's a free um, password manager available at lastpass.com. Now they do have a premium edition uh, which you can use for smartphones and they also have an enterprise edition but we're just going to take a look at the free version. Now they've got the recommended if you want a specific Windows or Mac download you can do that. Uh, this is LastPass for Windows. It knows I'm on a Windows machine so we're just going to go ahead and download it. And we're going to save that file. And once it's saved then you want to go ahead and run that file. Now I already have this installed. Uh, there's this little star shaped uh, icon up here. Uh, it's dark because I'm not logged in. If you're logged in it'll, it will be red. Um, but we'll go ahead and go through this to see how far I can get through it just to show you uh, how it works during the uh, installation. Okay, English. Uh, there are some advanced options here. Uh, which uh, browsers you want to add it to. Uh, whether or not you want to add an icon on the desktop, which we don't. Uh, keep a history of logins and form fills. Uh, if you're, if it's like a laptop or something that might get stolen and you want to make sure that nobody's logging in, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, automatically log you in when your browser starts. Well, we don't want that because, again, if somebody steals your machine, then they get access to all of your passwords. Uh, so then we go to uh, install LastPass. And we're going to need to close our browsers. So I'll go ahead and close them. And I do have an existing account. So, I mean, the, the, the great thing about this is, you know, originally when I just had a PC, it wasn't that big a deal. But then I had a PC and I was using Firefox and Chrome. Then I had a laptop and I had browsers on that. And the advantage of this is no matter what computer you're on or what browser you're in, you have access to all of your passwords. So, uh, secure strong passwords uh, and all you have to do is remember one password to have access to all of them. So let's kind of start going through the steps for creating a new account. Okay, so your email is your uh, username and then your master password. Now this master password has to be a strong password. Uh, it should have uh, capitals and small letters and numbers and symbols, um, but you have to be able to remember it because if you lose it, the only thing LastPass can give you is a reminder. So you can put some kind of a cryptic reminder in here on this password. Um, I also may advise you to write this down and, and have it in a safe place, whether it's a safe in your home or a safety deposit box at the bank. Uh, some place where if something happens to you, then, uh, you know, your heirs or whoever may have access can get access to uh, all of your passwords and access uh, your accounts to close them out or whatever. Okay, so um, let's just uh, fill in some info here. Uh, well, I already have an account, so I don't want to create another account, but as you go through the steps, uh, one thing it's going to ask you is if you've been storing passwords in any of your browsers. Uh, in the old days they used to use Firefox to store passwords and then had a master password within Firefox. But then when I started moving into Chrome and other computers, um, it was easier to do this. So when I went through the, step, the uh, installation the first time, it asked me, you know, do you want to bring in passwords from Firefox? And I said yes. And it said, okay, what's your master password? So I brought those passwords in, and it says, okay, do you want to delete them out of Firefox now? And I said, yes. So I've been using this for uh, for several years now, and, uh, and this is a, just a real handy way to do it. So once you get uh, get through the system, it'll uh, open up your browser. It'll install the, uh, the plugins, uh, add-ons into all of your browsers, or the ones that you had selected. And now let's go ahead, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, and now that this is uh, here and installed, when you open it up, uh, it's going to have your email address, and uh, you have to put in your master password. And you can have it remember the email. You really don't want it to remember the password because that defeats the purpose. And the show vault after login, uh, it's normally checked, but 
uh, I uncheck this, but I'll show you one reason why you might want to have that checked. So let me put in my master password. And now you see that this is turned red. So by clicking on that, you've got a drop down, and we'll go through some of these, but uh, let me show you the vault first. And within your last pass vault, uh, you can, uh, this is where all of your uh, web logins are stored. And you can create folders to, uh, to group these however you want them. Uh, you can add secure notes. Now there's also uh, form fills in here so you can set up a profile uh, for like, you know, your basic name, address, you know, phone number and things like that when you come across a form. Uh, you can just you know click uh, f you know click the drop down and we're gonna have to squeeze this over. So when you click the drop down and go to form fills, it's just gonna bring up you know your your uh, different profiles that you have created. Um, and we'll show you this generate secure password here in just a few minutes. So, like I said, you can go ahead and fill out, you know, like one might be your business address, uh, one might be your home address, uh, and the, uh, the shares. Uh, the shares, if you know someone else who is using uh, uh, LastPass, you can share passwords, uh, and you do that by, uh, by when you go into your vault. Um, if you open up one of these, uh, you can click on the edit button and it's going to have the URL and then the name when you create the name uh, just make it as specific as possible and then the username and the password if you want to see the password you click on this little I and you can see the password and then you also have the share button down here now uh, like I said, with the shares, if you click the share button, it'll bring up uh, where you put in somebody's email address. Well, let's click on this. It opens up in a... And uh, so you would uh, put in the email address and allow us recipients to view passwords and then share. Okay, let's go. Now, the other thing that, uh, that I was... Oh, uh, before we go, there's one other thing. There is a security... Uh, challenge in here where once you have if you just imported a bunch of passwords now you uh, you can also import uh, if you go to the user menu look at importing uh, other passwords it does you know you can bring in passwords through a CSV file that doesn't have to be just from your browser so if you've got you know like RoboForm or something else uh, just go to the user menu and look at uh, how to import them and then you can take a security challenge which will go through all of your passwords and see you know how many are duplicates how many are weak and uh, give you a status uh, status update on that but uh, the other thing I was going to show you is uh, if you if you come in here and just click on this link it will automatically open that tab and automatically log you in and there we go we're logged in so like I said if you want to uh, open the last pass vault after you log in if you want to use this method for accessing the sites instead of like bookmarks or something else uh, you can go ahead and do that now uh, when you log out on your login page uh, what's going to happen with last pass activated is you're going to get a drop down list the thing here is, you know, anything dealing with home office small business. So we got a WordPress login, we've got my login, uh, we got the cPanel login. Uh, you know, this was testing the members area. So any passwords for this domain are all going to show up here. Uh, and this is great when you're working with, uh, you know, uh, internet marketing because you've got. You know, you've got your cPanel login, you've got your WordPress login, you may have a members area login, uh, and it keeps track of all of this. So, uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the other features here. Okay, we're within WordPress, we're going to add a new user. Now, um, 
with this little thing over on the side you can automatically bring up form fills here or you can add a profile uh, this adding credit cards uh, I'm still a little leery about even though it's uh, supposedly all encrypted as a rule I don't use it for that but uh, what we can do is uh, let's go ahead and use yeah, let's tester and then on our drop down here we'll use fill forms and uh, you can't see it but over to the right there I just clipped in fill forms so we've got our email first name last name and then down here with with uh, WordPress it's a little bit different these days uh, they automatically fill one in and then send it to you and then you would have to reset it uh, and I'll show you how uh, this works in just a minute but in the meantime uh, we can click generate secure password and that brings up this little dialog box and uh, if you're showing advanced options you can say how long you want the password to be whether you want special characters to be included in there um, if it's something that you're going to remember then you might want to click avoid ambiguous characters but now that you have LastPass you don't have to do that and if you don't like that one you can uh, generate another one uh, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this just in case and then accept and see it didn't overwrite oh yes it did there it goes okay so uh, then we will go ahead and add this user now in the case of uh, someplace else in let's say we're creating a Google account if you see this little circle around a lock if you click on that it's going to bring up that same uh, password generator so I mean it's just that easy and then when you uh, once you've done that uh, well, let me go ahead and do this so I can show you that. We're going to add this new user. And it should have popped up a little thing here saying uh, save new user. So since I copied that password, let me log out of here. And now we're going to put in tester and the new password, which is why I copied it and then we're going to log in and the first time we log in now it's going to pop up so it's good just going to say save site and never for this domain or not now so if you click save site uh, it brings up uh, so I would add like you know tester login something to define it and then put it in a proper folder so it would be like uh, our sites and if you're uh, replacing an existing site, if you click this and then click the drop down, uh, you, you know, if you're just updating a password, then you would just select uh, which profile it is that you're updating and do it that way. Okay, so uh, right, so I'm going to delete this uh, profile. So for right now, we're going to just say no thanks. But I did want to show you that the, the uh, drop down list uh, or drop down uh, options uh, that LastPass gives you. Uh, when you first log in someplace okay so uh, it's just a, it's a great system we've been using it for years we strongly recommend this to all of our clients and uh, you can use unique strong passwords for each different site uh, that you have to log into so uh, with all the recent hacks of uh, everybody around the uh, the globe uh, it just makes sense to use strong passwords to uh, to keep people uh, from uh, hacking in using your credentials, uh, which would give you a bad name. Okay, so like I said, in the future, uh, strong passwords, unique passwords, and it's all done for you in the cloud. Uh, now, one other quick thing here: uh, LastPass bought out a company called Xmarks. It's at xmarks.com. And what this does is something similar, only this syncs all of your bookmarks. So again, if across browsers, across computers, uh, if you bookmark a site on one browser on one computer, you'll then be able to go in, back and access that bookmark uh, from any of your computers and any of your browsers. And again, this is free also, uh, just like LastPass. So, uh, just a word to uh, to help you out here. Thank you for for watching.